and I will record this and upload this on your Google Drive and I will tell you that it has been uploaded you download it then I will upload the new files okay this is the procedure what we are doing coming back to this uh, we we have done very basic things about yesterday okay financial statement like this now what are the benefits wherever there is a examination point of view i will clearly mark it as a star with purple color okay examination questions all examination question for the past i can say for the past 15 years you can imagine is that what are the benefits of star why, why we do about it that's it is a impartial we want somebody third party okay we want somebody who is not related to us that's very important okay who is somebody who is third party you, you will have a see it is a, it is regarded about the financial statements see what happens the directors are directors are taking the managing the money of the shareholders okay shareholders shareholders should they they not we're not going to say that they will not trust they trust but somebody is there from the external who is going to who is going to verify is it verify they give what they they give some assurance yeah, that these are the things or not otherwise shareholders cannot blindly trust directors very simple is it a, i will tell you what is there don't if i don't tell like this you will not understand nobody will trust the other party 100% so that is the reason we are talking in terms of impartial view impartial means neutral is that impartial means neutral okay you should have a very fair view i can say put like this you will have a fair view okay now you about the financial question provided by whom that is the reason auditor is nothing but a person who is having license okay who is having license to to work it out fine review the accounting and control systems including recommendations in relating to the system now what happened what does it mean control any idea so this is to like uh, to verify the internal controls first tell me what what is the from audit point of view what is meant by control you are doing the job in your office also bank also you are doing the job what will do somebody will prepare okay somebody will verify somebody will another person will approve is it right? another person will authorize you will not have one thing with everyone okay you will have the responsibilities with different people particularly now uh, bank it is more applicable even you are issuing a atm card what happens you are issuing the atm card they will go and they will self generate the pin number okay they self generate the pin number control from the auditing perspective is keep it in mind very very important segregation of duties control you somebody is there to watch somebody is there to observe somebody is there to verify is it right control is that is nothing control is nothing but you are holding that is not that is what it say in every way everywhere you see controls will be there what the see review of auditing is right review of audit accounting is done by external audit is that a external auditor review e controls will be done by whom done by the internal auditors okay okay internal auditors will do the control very important three chapters are there only on this one question will come 100% is that means they will will do the thing in addition there is a possibility that the auditor might detect fraud and error see whatever happens this is the basic thing they will be fraud as as simple as that is that they will be fraud best of the best companies best of the best banks 
best of the best businesses. We cannot, we'll have thousands of employees. We cannot trust in thousands of employees. They say, what you are doing as an auditor, see, we, we use the word, it is not that. Auditor is otherwise called as a watchdog. Always you keep a very critical eye. Is that why we are doing? See, if everything is right, then there is no job of auditor. Is that when you are going for an audit, somebody in the bank, they will come audit every month. They will come here. What they will do? They will pinpoint what are the things. They will say that they will do the things as per what will do. They will verify. Is that they will verify? They 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 will say that you always they make sure that there is a evidence or not. Is that means what are the benefits when you are talking about the benefits there is an impartial view we are talking about the benefits you review financial accounting you will have control systems is that it controls everywhere there is a country see you are you are going and the morning you are you are punching you are making a biometric is there biometric system is a control login is a control okay Login is a control. It's a control. Otherwise, nothing will happen. You are having the cameras installed. It is a control. As simple as that. Is that it is a control. Now you are talking about face recognition. It is a control. You are having a tapping system. You have a, that ID badge is there. You tap on the door. Door will open. It is a control. That is what the thing. We will see that whether the controls are in place or not. As simple as that. Is that? Now, we will do this. We will have a big discussion on this. In addition, there is a possibility. There is a possibility. Nothing that you cannot say that 100% is right. There is a possibility that people will do fraud very simply and errors. Intentionally you are doing, it is called as a fraud. Accidentally you are doing, it is an error. Understand? Point? This is the difference. You are doing it intentionally. The intentionally you are doing, it is a fraud. If you are doing by mistake, accidentally, it is a fraud. Unknowingly, you can put like this. Is it? If you are doing unknowingly, knowingly, is it? Is it unknowingly? It is a error. But if you are doing intentionally, knowingly, it is a fraud. Is that? That is the benefits of that. We get the impartial view. We will review the accounting, financial statements. We will review the controls. And we will have the possibility that we can detect the errors and frauds. What is the benefit of non-statutory audit? Is that? What is the statutory audit? Statutory audit is financial statements. Okay? Statutory audit is financial what is a non-statutory audit? You have tax audit. Is it? Nowadays, tax audit is very, very popular. People are expert in that. A means of settling accounts between the partners. Is it? Non-statutory. It's not compulsory. Is it? We, we, are, we are making it a point that if they see partners are there, definitely when you are having the partner, see, statutory audit will be for which companies? Yes, COG companies. Listed companies. Is that? Listed companies. Companies which have been issued the share capital. Okay? Non-statutory <coughs> non audit option. It is between the partners. Where there is a partnership. Assume it, even LLC, it is applicable. Audited financial statements may be more acceptable to taxation authorities. Yeah, what the, the, when we are talking about, we will say it is a tax audit. Is it right? It is a tax audit. When you say tax audit, what the tax, tax audit, tax inspectors will see, tax examiners will see, tax examiners will see that whether the financial statements has been audited or not. Got what? And that gives that gives you some strength. That gives you some positive message. That yes, these are reliable. 
when we are doing this the pur purpose is they want to know that these statements are reliable sale of business or negotiations of a bank loan when we go for when when you are in the bank you people are in the bank when a client will come and say that we apply for a loan what you will ask you will ask immediately what is the five year final last five years financial statements and they will ask we want audited financial statements anywhere any doubt you stop me very open ended forum platform <coughs> it is there is nothing like that there is no one side communication okay i trust you you are focused as simple as that is that you should have it. that's what it say sale of business or negotiations i am selling the product is it very simple i am selling my car okay i am selling my car if it has been certified i will get more value if the car is not certified i will get less value the same thing happen if the financial statements are audited you will have more negotiation power you have more even it is a not a listed company non statutory audit people will see yes it is as simple as that we we'll say that yes, i have a car i say that it is company maintained car 10 years 15 years company maintained car automatically what you will do you will take the information and you will verify the information whether it is right or not if it is you will find that yes it is company maintained car even it is 15 years old you will you will verify whether it has been accidented there are any accident history is there you will you will not buy the things as simple as straight away the same thing happens here we are going to make sure that whether the statements has been audited or not no is it for the bank, banks will will make it a point that by default banks will ask this but what do you mean by tax audit i mean what what's the the difference i mean is it is it different when it comes no. to non statutory audit and statutory audit yes see it, what what happens vat is there yeah yeah vat is there people will every company will file vat returns is it everyone everyone will file vat returns is it they will file vat returns 3 months also 3 months 3 months later. now what happens how that vat is related to financial statements see if financial statements has been audited vat is secondary okay vat is secondary people will will you by compulsion you have to file the vat okay but more than compulsion you have to get your financial statements audited this is more important now if you are submitting returns to the tax authority the tax authorities will see that whether the financial statements has been audited by the stat external auditor so in this case it becomes a statutory audit course it's required by the government Ex right? external audit is statutory audit external audit is purely a statutory audit purely statutory audit first external audit second tax audit both will go same by, by, side by side i am not telling that tax audit is not important tax audit is also important but primarily which one is more important we have to select without financial statement audits can we do tax audit mm -hmm. no no is it financial so you mean yeah the tax you mean the 15% which is paid to the government yeah huh. no 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 uh, 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 you 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 put a, you have the corporate tax also is it right okay. yeah you have a corporate tax also you have you have other taxes vat is also there Mm -hmm. Okay, you have municipal taxes. So many taxes is there. Is it a tourism tax is there? Is it a? They all are related to tax tax authorities. Okay. Okay. You you see, it is you are collecting. The business is collected on behalf of the government. 
on behalf of the government from the customers and they have to pay it back to the government now when you are yeah. collecting yes tell me so it's conducted by external auditors for the non statutory audit what of them right yes they, they 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 can do if you take if you take kpmg kpmg will do tax audit also kpmg will do financial audit also okay okay kpmg will do all the uh, kpmg do internal audit also is it right kpmg yeah. will do it audit also but the primary one is going to be the financial statements because financial statements are the basis so it should be done by that independent party right for the non statutory audit in all the cases independence is the basics yeah yeah is a independence is the part it is other name for audit yeah okay without if you don't have independence nothing will work yeah okay are you clear about this yeah and useful for the sleeping partner also is it a sleeping partner also it will give a pause. yes uh, things are moving well things has been audited payments has been audited receipts has been audited all financial statements as simple as that income statement and balance statement of financial position is audited it gives a positive 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 message to others is it okay yeah is it clear now this one okay this this one will be there in every chapter understand but the moment you start a chapter this chronology will be there now we will start from here okay we will start from here by the time we will end up we will go to the report to the management mm -hmm. this is our syllabus is that we this is our syllabus we will plan the audit we will understand the entity we will assess the risk risk and select the procedures we will we will want to know the deficiencies we will think about the controls first controls then you will have test we are testing the controls when controls are satisfied fine when controls are unsatisfactory we report to the management even the controls are satisfactory we will do some procedures is that even the even the controls are there we are know that everything is good satisfactory we will not say correct we will say satisfactory even after that we will do some procedures once we do some procedures is it right we we will take the route here okay we can skip this and directly we will go to the review of financial statement if there is some some issues are there in procedures then we will do what we will do full substantive procedures full substantive procedures and subsequently if there is unsatisfactory we can go like this or we can report to the management so you have two options if what? there's a like satisfactory outcome yes is that if it's satisfactory or it is unsatisfactory i will tell you with 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 my experience okay i will i will put the marks here also is that planning a audit will be for it will be for 6 marks overall section a and section b is it test you will have controls controls 5 marks test of control 6 marks is it i am taking that much responsibility and telling you this understanding control environment is it this is the control environment control environment will be for 10 marks is it you are assessing the risk procedure 8 marks i am not totaling it i will total it plus or minus it will reach the same value okay mm -hmm. you will have substantive procedure you will have test of controls controls test of controls substantive procedures you will have almost 15 marks is it substantive procedures you will have almost almost 15 marks okay next you are talking about the review is it you are talking about the review will be for how much 10 marks is it review will be for 10 marks 
you are when you are taking a test test of controls and you are talking about the satisfactory unsatisfactory you are in between you will have internal audit is that in between you will have internal audit internal audit will be here only not here internal audit internal audit will be somewhere here when we are talking about the controls is that internal audit it will be almost 12 marks it is almost 12 marks over review over review of the management it will be it will be somewhere around 8 marks you take this i will not you i will send you this pdf file plus there something we are talking about the deficiencies okay there something we are talking about the deficiencies deficiencies identify deficiency make suggestions and give some recommendations is it right if you are doing this it is almost 12 to 15 marks it is almost 12 to 15 marks now you do the total 6 plus 10 plus 8 6 plus 5 plus 12 plus 15 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 how much you got you got almost 92 marks you can put 8 marks for introduction all those things you have to plan mechanically practically yes where we have to focus where we should not focus it is not difficult only thing is approach we should be very clear so what do you mean by introduction it marks for what we are doing what we are doing the introduct about who uh, introduction i will put like this introduction there will be ethics ethics will be 6 marks one question will be there on ethics okay. is that one question will be there on ethics plus plus or minus okay plus or minus you take 10 marks is that is that plus or minus ethics one question will be there ethics question will be there in every paper you take auditing you take sbr you take financial reporting you take financial management everywhere there will be one question on ethics and in auditing particularly it will be more okay fine we will okay. cover by the time we'll complete this we are going to reach this place report okay. to the members so we, have, so we have the internal controls and yeah. we have the internal audit yeah internal control see the role of internal auditor is to make internal controls yeah okay the role of the internal audit is to have a effective internal controls so the internal audit here you you have written internal audit so it comes under which stage the internal audit okay one minute okay it will come here is right it will come assess risk procedures now it will come here yeah internal audit yeah yeah okay is it clear yeah fine now what they say now you see the things the quality what is accountability what is accountability stewardship and agent the quality or state of ac accountable means you have to it's not my responsibility i have to give the reply to that that is very important i have to make it a point that i have to justify actions and decisions that is very important you have to give reasons why you have taken directors have to give reasons is it right directors i have to give reasons i will put charged with governance the people who are charged with governance should 
is being required or expected to justify actions and decisions that is accountable accountable says it is an obligation to accept the responsibility something happened i will say yes i had did that is that is what accountability i said that i i am responsible fine it is happened right it happened wrong that is my decision i am responsible that is accountability accountability and <coughs> and corporate governance corporate governance is basically whom corporate governance is basically talks about board of directors corporate governance talks about the audit committee is it right corporate governance talks about the executive directors and non executive directors the responsibility and accountability lies with the directors that's very important we will cover that what is the accountability or what is the corporate governance in a company yeah. directors who are preparing the financial statements will say that who are the directors are preparing who will sign the chairman will sign yeah the chairman of the company will sign but the 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 managing that the who is the head of ceo will also not sign understand but ceo will not sign ceo is an operational head ceo is an operation the person is the chairman will sign the annual report board of directors now we cannot say chairman chairman is a representative is that chairman is a representative to of board of directors now if that is the case who are preparing financial statements board of directors yeah who are preparing financial statement board of chairman is part of board of directors there is no one individually responsibility it is collective now because it is collective we are always say that directors are required to prepare financial statement to the shareholders now what is there the managers of the business are accountable to whom owners here managers is in other words board of directors is that managers are everyone is accountable every you are you are a head of one section you are head of a one one branch you are responsible for that branch is that you are responsible for that branch you are you are head of one department you are responsible for that department anything happens they will ask you that is the accountability in the same way financial statements has been prepared by the directors and directors are board of directors i should i will not use directors also i have to use board of directors and board of directors are responsible are you clear about this yeah so the concept of accountability is applied to the external auditors would right no accountability is allah kareem accountability is whom accountability is for the directors understand by accountability yeah. it is for the directors who are the yeah. see you account the quality of state account is being required justify uh, in company directors it is whom it is with respect to directors i will say board yeah. of directors okay no way she auditor is very very soft he will come he will he will have his work and he will go okay yeah, yeah, yeah. auditor will never take any responsibility fine yeah. is right now why it is important this this is any way they they way the money is involved things are very sensitive okay shareholders buy shares and shareholders ex expects is right there is a capital growth value should increase the shareholders expect that the wealth should increase shareholders expect that there should be returns is that say that that the things will come see you see i am take i am taking money from somebody else i am i can accountable for them what is the purpose of taking money i am taking the money from the shareholders directors are taking the they are the stewards they are the stewards they are the protectors of the assets is that they are the protector of the assets when you are protecting the assets your responsibility 
that you have to do in a very positive way. And somebody is investing, they invest with only pur some purpose. The purpose is they want a capital growth and they want the dividends. Fine? Yeah. Now, what is the stewardship? Stewardship is nothing but you, you are placing the control by the chief. The first, the duties and obligations of a person is it who manages other person's property. Other person property is who are the other persons? It is the yes. shareholders. Who is the obligation? It is the board of directors. Is it who is the well, the, the, the obligation, this is my obligation that who manages another person's property. In a company, directors are account for stewards. Because they have the duties to protect, manage the things and uh, of assets and investment placed under the control. By whom? It is the money of the shares. Shareholders see what happens. Shareholders are, shareholder doesn't have any, no, very simple. I'm telling you in general, in general, shareholders are dispersed all over the world. They don't know, is it? Now somebody is managing, somebody will be CEO, somebody will be board of directors, somebody will be. Now sh sh what happens in the process, if it is audited, we are getting a confirmation, we are getting the confidence that yes things have whatever somebody has done it is certified certified as simple as that it is a certification when auditor will sign he is giving an assurance that the financial statements prepared by the directors are yeah. in true and fair done. If you understand this much, you can understand the complete concept. Okay. okay. Now, slowly and steadily we are moving, okay? Agency. Now, what happens? There is, see, this is what it says. There is always in financial management, maybe you have covered this. Is it right? In financial management. See, always, see, directors have a different objective, okay? Directors want different objective. Shareholders' objectives will be different. Directors are the agents. Is it? Directors are the agents of whom? Directors are the agents of the shareholders. Now you see the things. What happened in this process? If both are going in a different... See, there should be some understanding. Okay? There should be some understanding. If both are going in a different way, is it? In an opposite way, things will not work. Is it? Both will have a different opinion. Both have different objective. Directors want that they, they want performance. They want profits. Shareholders want that they want wealth. Is it? They want wealth. Their value should be increased. If both are going in a different way, things will not work. There will be a gap. This not, I'm not saying that there will not be a gap. But rule says that the gap should be minimum. There should be some understanding. Is there? There should be a, some some understanding. You have to what we have to minimize the gap. You have to minimize the gap. Then only things will work. If I am saying something, other person, if two people are working in the same company and both will have different view, company will not prosper. They will be, see, there will be differences, opinion, fine, but the differences should be less. What say people employed are used to provide service? What the board of directors are doing? They will be paid. They will be paid. They will be paid remuneration. Is it? They will be paid remuneration. They will be paid. Salary will be paid to the directors. In a company, directors are the agents. An external audit of financial statement addresses 
what the external auditor will do they will add they will address the differences between shareholders and directors they will say yes they see what they will do what auditor will do auditor is external auditor is a communication channel he is a he is a, he is a communicator he 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 brings together both the parties directors as well as shareholder if you see if you have come across in your company you will have a annual general meeting in the annual general meeting one side shareholders will be there one side management will be there and one side auditor presence will be there is the auditor will be there he will he will he will act as a channel of communication between the management and the shareholders that is the reason it, it, it as external audit of the financial state address the conflicts any any issues are there definitely auditor will come to a they, they will bridge the gap they will explain yeah these are the things these are the things that will been happening right these are the things that's happening wrong or that is the reason auditor report gives everything which is happening within the company during the financial year is it okay yeah fine no yeah what what is happening see that you have the financial statements see that one side you have the shareholders one side you have the management see that is that I, i cannot put the things but i will put this is that you have the shareholders you have the management they are managing the company and in between who is there now shareholders what they will do they will appoint independent independent is external who is not related who has to be fair who should not get any influence is that when an auditor has been appointed it will adds credibility people will see who are the auditors who are the auditors that's very important auditors are kpmg fine auditors are ey auditors are deloitte auditors are pwc they give the message okay they give the message as such because auditors will always will not have any influence they are the in other word they are the judge and they will attend the agm 100% yeah. they will they will be part of the they will attend as a representative they are signing the reports how they will not attend yeah is it management prepare the finance financial statement prepare what make it clear financial statements they manage the company assets is it the camp company manage they manage the company assets is it and shareholders will appoint the management and in between what the shareholders will see shareholders will only measure the performance every slide adds value to your exam <coughs> i'm telling you this every slide will add value to the exam is it now it adds you what you see you see you are appointing staff mem you you are the owner of the business you appoint staff you will see performance as simple as that they are doing good they are in, in, increasing the business they are making profits they are expanding the business that's all as simple as that the shareholders will also measure the performance are you clear about this yeah okay now coming back to this the more one the technical one we are not going to go in detail at this point we will go in in detail at a later stage and what the assurance that what the auditors are giving the auditors are giving an assurance engagement they are, they are engaging themselves for what purpose assurance is the engagement which the practitioner practitioner is the auditor express a conclusion to enhance the confidence 
There are three parties, okay? There are three parties are there. This will be this will be there in multiple choice question. You have a practitioner, is it? You have a practitioner. You will have a intended user, is it right? You have a intended user and you have a responsibility party. It is called as a three-party agreement. It is a three-party agreement. Who are the practitioners? Practitioners are the auditors. Remember this. Keep it in mind. I, you don't need revision. I'm telling very simple. I'm telling it on record. You, you remember my words. You don't need revision. At after at the end of the in between, I will ask you the questions. I will ask you as many questions as possible. Is that whatever happened in the previous classes? I will ask. You should be on your fingertips. You should remember. Is that you will have practitioner. Who is the responsibility party? Responsible party is the management. Responsible party is the board of directors. Who are the intended user? It is the shareholders. Now, what they say yesterday I told you is that they are in the, the rest of, about the what we are doing. We are talking about a evaluation or me measurement of a subject matter. What is the subject matter? Subject matter is financial statements. Subject matter is financial statements. That's why we are not doing anything else, is it? Now, what is any? What is the meaning of criteria? Any idea? Yes or no? What criteria? The quality of the uh, the financial statements. How the quality of financial statements will be reflected? Good, I appreciate you. How the how the quality will be reflected? By it would be uh, verified, of course, by the external auditor. No. With the clean report. How on what base or what is the? What is the basis of financial preparation of financial statements? What is what is what? Basis. The basis. Uh, yes. Free from material misstatement? No. I have no idea. Conceptual conceptual reporting framework financial reporting framework yesterday i told you remember this i put you one one thing like this mm -hmm. is it right i put one thing like this refer that yeah. is it right i i was little bit tomorrow i will tomorrow i will be free i will send you you just create one group okay anyone create one group and anything is there i will post on the group it makes interesting Okay, next. Criteria is, see the things, yesterday also I told you this. Criteria is, every other company should follow national rules. Commercial Company Law of Oman, 1974. The first thing you have to follow. You want to get it registered, do the business in Oman, you have to do, bo, bo, you have to do it as per the Commercial Company Law of Oman. Registration. Next, you are preparing the financial statements as per IAS, International Accounting Standard. You are reporting financial statement as per IFRS. Yesterday I told you this in the introduction. Is that yeah. this is the criteria? Criteria is there is some rules. There is some on what basis you are you are talking about debits and credits. There is a criteria. You are prepared. This is the accounting standards. That is the reason financial reporting is very important. On the basis of financial reporting, you prepare financial statements. Subsequently, on the basis of financial statements, you are going to do audit. Is it? This is what international framework of assurance engagements. This happens to everyone. 
you are you are you want to start business in UAE, you have to get registered as per UAE rules. You want to start business in Oman, you have to register as per Oman rules. First thing, then then you think about first you have to think about national, then you have to think about international. Okay. Coming back to this, very important. Right now I am not going to discuss anything more. We are giving the we have to say yes, whether we are satisfied or not. When you are giving an assurance, nobody says 100%. Is it? Nobody will say 100%. We, okay? We don't, we, that's very important. Because what is the reason? There is a reason out there. You are not doing everything. You are not verifying everything. You are verifying only a sample. A percentage of transactions with on percentage of transactions you are building a opinion you are coming to an opinion percentage of transactions you are giving an opinion you are giving only an opinion if you think reason if you are think sufficient is it that if you are thinking we will say that they say it is sufficient and appropriate. This is the auditing language. People will, very simple, I'm telling you. People are think that we can write English. No, we have to use audit language. Sufficient and appropriate evidence. You are giving an opinion on sufficient and appropriate. You cannot get 100% complete opinion. On that opinion, if you think right, you will say it is reasonable. If you think there is no evidence, then you cannot say that the complete financial statements is wrong. Is it right? You cannot say. You will say that is a limited. You will say that there is something wrong with respect to inventory. Other things are appropriate. There's some limited in limited assurance. You hold it that thing. You will say, is that what you will give? You say that it does not it does not come to my notice. I have not seen that. I can say like that. I have not seen that. Fine. Because they, the, the things are, we are not talking about things. We are talking only in terms of sample. We will come to this at a later stage. Okay? Reasonable assurance and limited assurance. So there's a difference between reasonable assurance and limited assurance, right? Pardon? There's a difference between reasonable assurance 100%. and limited assurance. 100%. Oh. Is it right? The moment you come you come across limited assurance, there will be a question mark. Yeah. Okay? Now. And we will refer to this later, right? 100%. Sabar, sabar. Everything will come slowly. Everything. At the end of the, at the, end of the syllabus, you will, you will completely, the moment we go to the exam kit, we will cover everything. Okay. Okay? Now. These are the five elements. I am writing this. This will be for three marks. It is otherwise called as a crest. Yeah, we discussed this yesterday. Is it? It is otherwise called as a crest. Criteria. Report, evidence, subject matter. Now you see three party relationship. User, responsible party, practitioner. Mm -hmm. We have to remember this. Okay, I will ask Crest, criteria, report, evidence, subject matter, three party agreement. In the next slides, we cover one by one. Is that we'll cover one by one. See the thing. Assurance. Assurance engagement. You have practitioner, subject matter, evidence, 
is right criteria criteria uh, report this is uh, one this is the report uh, evidence subject matter and this is 5.1 subject matter is financial statements criteria is law criteria is IAS criteria is IFRS report is your audit report is that report to whom you are giving this to whom you are based on the on the evidence you give the report okay based on the evidence you give the report to whom you are giving the report it is prepared by the responsible party it is prepared by the responsible party it is verified it is, it is verified by the auditor and it is given to whom it is given to the users Is it? This is the assure. Keep it's very easy. See, audit exam is. I will. I'm not exaggerating. Maybe you will say that people are saying it's the most difficult examination. But you will come to a conclusion that whether it's difficult. It's only thing is you should be very very scientifically. You have to approach. Okay, so you have to approach very scientific. See the thing. Now, now, now. I don't need that much effort now. There are three party relationship, intended user, the person for whom the practitioners prepare the assurance report. Is it? The purpose for whom practitioner auditor is preparing report, auditor is preparing report for the shareholders. Is it? Order. Response, the person for the subject matter and information, who is the responsible party, board of directors. To prepare the final practitioners provide professional services. Who are the practitioners? Auditors. Three party agreement. Crest and three party. In the, the last T talks about three people. You intended user, practitioner, and responsible. Is it okay? Yeah. Now it, things are very simple. Things are see the thing. Now you see the thing. More in detail. More in detail you are going to there. That there is a three party relationship. One, two, three. Okay. Subject matter is financial statements. Criteria is what is ISA? Any idea, yes or no? standards for the auditors yes international it, see ifrs is for reporting okay is yeah. for is for accounting okay isa international standards for auditing it is for auditing it is for auditing here by the time we will cover we will have so many standards will be there when you are writing section b Okay, I will I will help you. I will make you aware. If you mention standards, they will give you marks. You have to mm -hmm. mention standards. Yes, communication, planning, what is the standard? Audit planning, what is the standard? Going concern, what is the standard? Is it assurances? What is the assertions? Everywhere there is standards will be there. Communication, there will be a standard. Digital. Uh, uh, IT there is a standard isn't it everywhere there is a standard we are not covering all standards but uh, where there are some important standards the moment you write those standards automatically they will give you marks Auto, see you have see what is more important you have to convince them that you have a auditing knowledge that's all you cannot say that I am 
I will have an accounting language, uh, accounting knowledge, and I'm uh, writing an auditing paper. Fine. This is what is it. You, are you clear about this? Three part of financial statements, Le legislation act of in UK. I, I told you about Oman, Oman Commercial Company Law of Oman 1974. Is it? Mm -hmm. Whichever country it will work. Evidence, you have accounting records, source of documents, and you have the audit. In the end, you have the audit report. So, for the relevant legislation, uh, it means the national rules, right? For? The relevant legislation. Yes, it relevant na na national rules. National rules are com company law is very important. As an auditor, keep it in mind. As an auditor, if you are doing ACCA, you have to you have to get some knowledge. I'm not saying expert knowledge. Some knowledge about the company law and some knowledge about the labor law. It is very important. Without labor law and company law, you, we cannot do anything. Because we need this information whenever you think about doing the audit. I will tell you later on where we will, 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 will need labor law, where we can use, how it is. I am not saying you have to become an expert, but you should have awareness. Okay. Fine. Okay, now we will complete this slide and we will stop. Okay, we will complete this also. Fine, one fine. Now, uh, 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 yeah, see the thing. See, now you see the thing. When they are giving now, I've every lecture I will refer the questions and these questions will be there repeatedly. Okay, you have the questions, you have the answers. And you have some reviews also, okay? You will have the things. There's so much is there. Fine. No, no problem. Okay? It will take a little bit more time, okay? You will have multiple choice questions also. You see, you have, what is the question for 2012? Is it right? By the time we complete this lecture, automatically you will be in a position to understand the things, okay? Now, what it says, we complete these two slides and we'll stop. Is that we complete this? Time. It says the same thing in more detail. What the other three parties are doing? Who is the responsible party, practitioner? Is it right? Responsible to the for the subject matter. What happens? The, the purpose of the assurance service. What is that? Now you, you have some knowledge. We have to increase the confidence. By doing the audit, the risk will be reduced. The errors will be reduced, <coughs> okay, of the users of those services. This is it. That is what you are in confidence will increase, errors will decrease. The international framework assurance gives an guidance. It gives you how to do an audit. Is that he do as as we said ISA. ISA will give a uh, rules that what we have to do, what we should not do. There are three parties are involved. What the user, user express a conclusion that provides the user with a level of assurance. Subject matter is what? Subject matter is financial statements. Okay. Now, come here. Responsible for the, responsible parties are responsible for the subject matter. Again, same financial statements. Is it? Evaluates measures of subject matter. What they will do, they, their criteria. What is the criteria? Criteria is the national law. Is that criteria is the national law? Practitioner, what the practitioner do, what the auditor do, they will provide of professional service, and they will they will get paid. Is that they should be must be competent, they should be objective, and most importantly, they have to be independent. They are cause see everyone will not will not have the authority to get audit license. Okay, you should have the qualification then you will work must be carried out as per the standards is it work must be carried out as per the standards as such is it right this is a a picture of with with respect to assurance services 
what they say they, again i am not doing anything just the same thing they are practitioners intentional user responsible parties i have included bpp and i have included kaplan that's all okay how it has been worked you see the thing is it this is where we are talking in terms of the things criteria example what they say it is ifrs is it return report they are talking in terms of what opinion subject matter they are talking in terms of financial statements is it when we say uh, uh, evidence they say sufficient and appropriate evidence is it clear about this yeah fine now we will can we stop now yes yeah, fine